Early Modern English, the evolution of a language. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of early modern English. Have you ever wondered how the English of Shakespeare differs from the English we speak today? Well, buckle up, because we're about to explore this transformative period in the history of the English language. Early Modern English, often abbreviated as EME, is the stage of the English language used from the late 15th century to the mid to late 17th century. This was a time of great change and evolution in English, transitioning from Middle English to the English we are more familiar with today. Several factors contributed to the changes in early modern English. One. The Renaissance. This period of renewed interest in arts, science, and humanism also influenced the language. New words and phrases were borrowed from Latin and Greek. 2. Printing press. Introduced by Johannes Gutenberg in the mid-15th century, it standardized spelling and grammar. 3. Exploration and colonization. As the British Empire expanded, English absorbed words from other languages around the world. 4. The Great Vowel Shift. This was a major change in pronunciation that affected vowels in English words. Here are some key features. 1. Thou, the, thy. These pronouns were commonly used for singular you, but are now considered archaic. 2. Different verb endings. For example, speaketh, instead of, speaks, or, art, instead of, are. 3. Vocabulary. Some words had different meanings. For instance, girl, could mean a young person of both genders. 4. Spelling variations. A single word might be spelled in multiple ways. For example, music, could be, music. 5. Capitalization. It was not standardized. Nouns were often capitalized, even in the middle of sentences. Early modern English is most famously associated with William Shakespeare, but other writers like John Milton and Christopher Marlowe also wrote during this period. Their works give us a rich glimpse into the language and culture of the time. So there we have it. From, thou art, to, you are, early modern English has left an indelible mark on the language we speak today. As we've seen, languages are always evolving, influenced by culture, history, and contact with other tongues. We hope this journey into the world of early modern English has been enlightening. Keep exploring, and never stop learning.